So Royal Enfield's all about authenticity. You know, all the products we create are authentic and honest in what they do. And the twin has been something that the company's been talking about for an awful long time now. For us, this new project, the 650 twin, has been an absolute dream for for years, maybe even over a decade. The parallel twin, firstly, it's absolutely part of our heritage and our pedigree. It comes in from a rebirth of what we already have in our heritage. And so once the decision was made to go to twin, we started looking at um, what can we draw inspiration from in our past? Uh, what are people asking for in the market today? The classic 350 and, and, and the motorcycles before that, they have a thump which is so identifiable and, and so close to people's hearts. But that wasn't the idea. You don't replicate a single in a twin. You do what's right for the twin. We knew that people really liked the sound of the singles and the, the feeling of torque and uh, low RPM, very flexible power delivery. So those are qualities that we then said, okay, these are what we really want to highlight as developmental objectives for the twin. Early on in the projects, we built three prototype engines and we tried all three to see um, you know, how they compare to each other. Uh, and everybody felt that the 270 degree crank gave the, the most character. The general configuration of the engine was targeted to still give some of that typical Royal Enfield character. More, most powerful engine in Royal Enfield and it has a 270 degree firing angle, so it has a distinct beat. Yeah, the first time I heard the 650 running, I was uh, I was really impressed. So yeah, the 650 twin, of course, has uh, has an absolutely special and unique sound, but I wouldn't call it a thump as much as a rumble. By focusing on the torque, got a nice broad spread of power that allows you to, from very low in the RPM range, kind of you know. The air-cooled engine just seemed the right thing to do. It's just right. You just look at it, and it's not cluttered with you know water hoses and water pumps, and you haven't had to worry about trying to hide expansion tanks and all of that stuff. And 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 it just makes the bike pure. It makes the bike just look and feel more correct. We put that in the design brief. You know, that's what we wrote. We wrote, make it more correct. Well, you'd be amazed to know how many people are just waiting for the twins, and this is not a wait of a few months. It's taken that long for us to be able to present something absolutely ground up, all new. Not because of what the media has been conjecturing, etc. This is a wait for, for over decades. I think people are going to be quite surprised, actually. I don't think people expect that from Royal Enfield. And I think something with you know this extra go, this extra agility and, and nimbleness, I think that's going to surprise people. I think, you know, it's, it's, um, it's going to kind of really announce the, the continuation of that renaissance.